Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be directly comparing the LSAT prep courses from Magoosh and Princeton Review. That way you can figure out which one is a better fit for your specific budget and learning style. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, welcome back. I should mention up front here that since I'll just be focusing on the big ticket items in this video today, if you find you need more detail at any point about either course's features or study materials, you can always check out our full detailed written comparison over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Magoosh vs. Princeton Review LSAT. That's a quick way to find it. All right, so a quick rundown of how I'm gonna structure this video. First, I'm gonna run through a quick pricing comparison, and then I'm gonna cover where I see each company winning over one another by feature or category, before ending with the final verdict of which company wins overall and which course I would personally choose. So, let's go ahead and start with cost. And this category is pretty clear cut. Magoosh is by far the more affordable option. Their self-paced plan costs around $300, and their premium plan, which includes live classes, costs around $600. Princeton's self-paced course, on the other hand, is priced around $800, and their live class options start at around $1,100. So doing some quick math here, you'll likely save at least $500, if not more, by going with Magoosh for your LSAT prep. However, it's definitely worth mentioning that both Magoosh and Princeton Review regularly offer sales and special promotions, so be sure to check the description below for coupon codes. I'll drop any current discounts and deals that I can find down there for you. I've seen these different course options discounted by at least 10 or 15% before, so make sure to check that out before purchasing. All right, so with pricing out of the way, let's quickly cover how each LSAT program generally works. And I'll start with this. The courses from both Magoosh and Princeton are very similar in terms of both features and study materials. Both companies' courses provide pre-recorded video lessons, live online classes, a structured study plan, practice problems, practice tests, et cetera, et cetera. Basically from a high level, the packages look extremely similar, but there are some subtle and important differences. And I think those are probably best explained by looking at where each course wins over one another. So let's start with Princeton Review. And the first advantage in their favor is course design. I'm a big fan of the structure that Princeton Review has created with their gated learning modules. It's really streamlined and efficient. You start by learning the basics and then progress to observing examples, to testing your knowledge with drills, and then finally to applying them in practice with real problems. Overall, I just found Princeton's organized learning modules to be very effective, especially when combined with their cool kind of gated approach. All right, so advantage number two are Princeton's video lessons. To be clear here, I'm not talking about the delivery format since each company's video lessons are actually fairly similar. Both take a slideshow style approach with instructor voiceover and interactive notes on screen. Instead, I'm referring to the total amount or volume of video lesson content that Princeton provides. Simply put, they offer more than 150 hours of video content or as Magoosh offers just around 90. So if you're more of a visual learner, this might push Princeton over the edge for you. And speaking of visual learners, advantage number three is that Princeton also beats Magoosh when it comes to live class time. Depending on which Princeton course you end up going with, you'll get anywhere from 30 to 145 hours of live class instruction, whereas Magusha's Live Plus Premium course comes with just 16 hours of live instruction. So if you're the type of student who thrives in a live class setting, interacting with teachers and peers and asking questions, or you simply need the set class schedule to help hold yourself accountable and stay organized, then I think Princeton is the better option. Okay, so last advantage here in favor of Princeton are their prep books. If you're more of an old school type of student that loves hard copy prep books, then Princeton Review is gonna be your better bet since Magoosh doesn't offer any hard copy prep books. I found Princeton's books to be well written and concise, and I personally think they make really good use of sample problems and key point callouts. So bottom line, if you like highlighting key points, dog-earing pages, and taking notes in the margins of a physical book, then Princeton's are very good and well integrated with their course. Okay, so now that you have a good idea of the areas in which Princeton Review wins, let's turn the tables and talk about where Magoosh wins. And advantage number one in their favor is clearly pricing. Magoosh is just much cheaper than Princeton Review and honestly, one of if not the best values in LSAT prep, but I already covered that earlier, so there's no point in beating a dead horse. Now, moving on to the second advantage for Magoosh, and that's their practice problem explanations. Now, to be clear here, both companies leverage past official LSAT exams through LSAC. In other words, you'll get access to real LSAT problems regardless of which course you end up going with. But the difference between Magoosh and Princeton here boils down to the explanations that accompany those problems. With Princeton, when you're reviewing your practice test or practice prompts, you only receive text explanations. Whereas with Magoosh, they provide both text and video solutions for every problem, which for visual learners, I think is a big bonus, especially with respect to reviewing logic game problems. Sometimes text explanations alone just don't get the job done and those Magoosh videos do a great job at breaking down problems in a very clear and efficient manner, and give you a quick engaging means of reviewing your practice work. 
And by the way, if you want to see some examples of each company's practice problem explanations, be sure to check out that full detailed rate and comparison that I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have screenshots and examples over there for you to check out and get a better feel for what to expect. All right, so advantage number three for Magoosh is the 24 seven email support that they offer students. So if you ever get stuck on a question or don't understand a specific concept or testing strategy, you can email one of Magoosh's remote LSAT tutors and usually they'll respond and get back to you with a detailed answer within a day or so. It's pretty awesome. Just nice knowing that you can have that support system in your back pocket in case you ever get confused or hung up. And advantage number four for Magoosh is content access period. When you purchase one of their LSAT courses, you get 12 months of access. Whereas Princeton Reviews courses come with just 120 days of access. So if you plan on sitting for the LSAT multiple times, maybe you're a nervous test taker and you plan on treating your first try as sort of a trial run, or maybe you're a working professional or busy mom or dad and you plan on studying over an extended period of time, then Magoosh is gonna be the better option. Okay, so time for my final verdict. But before I get to that, I do wanna just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes like 10 seconds to enter and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free LSAT course from Princeton Review or Magoosh. Okay, back to that final verdict. Should you choose Princeton Review or Magoosh to help you prep for the LSAT? Well, I think the answer to that question largely depends on your budget and target score. If your budget is just six or $700 or below, it's an easy answer, go with Magoosh. Like I said earlier, I think Magoosh is one of the best bang for your buck courses in all of LSAT prep. It's just tough to beat their price tag. But if you're looking to score 165 plus and hopefully get accepted into a top rated law school, then I think Princeton Review is the way to go. Their courses, while more expensive, are also much more robust in terms of features, content, and instruction. I just think Princeton's courses, especially their live class offerings, are gonna give you the best shot of scoring high on the LSAT. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. Again, if you wanna see that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll catch you in the next one.